42 companies in 2006 to 120 businesses totaling 1,200 employees and generating $170 million a year in revenue for the state, life science, technology, clean energy, cybersecurity, biotech, wet labs in over 500,000 square feet. Have you figured out where we are yet? Well, if you guessed the BW Tech Technology Center on the beautiful campus of UMBC, then you're absolutely correct. And we're here today to talk to Mike Adelstein of Potomac Photonics, one of the thriving businesses at BW Tech. Come on, let's go find Mike. So we're here at Potomac Photonics with Mike Adelstein. Hi Mike, welcome. Welcome Julia, we appreciate you coming by to visit us. Thank you so much. So now Mike, I hear that small things can change the world. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. We focus on advanced manufacturing and making really small things. When I mean small, we can use our tools to get down to one micron and the diameter of each of your hairs is 75 microns. So you can imagine how small we're getting. And so we have customers coming to us from around the world that require really small features for biotech devices, medical device, cancer treatment. And what we do is, is we look at those applications and we use our tools to be able to fabricate that and help people. Let me give you an example about how small things change Great. the world. What we have here is, as you can see, those are blue sutures. You know, those are normally used to, if you need to get stitches. Yeah. What we do is we take these sutures and the customer asked us to laser machine very small channels in these sutures. And what they do is, is they take radiation embedded in these sutures and then they use it for very localized treatment of breast and prostate cancer. That way limiting the amount of radiation that's used during the treatment of this. And take this device for example. Now, I'm gonna pull this down and this looks yeah. like it's just a piece of plastic, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. But in this plastic, there are 25,000 holes in it. <laughs> 25,000 holes. You can't see them. We'll have to get on a microscope, but I can show it to you in one of our labs. Oh my gosh. And those holes are 1.9 microns plus or minus 0.3 microns. And this is used for a drug discovery application. Uh, the great thing about this application is we use our competitive advantage to come up with a technology to do it. And so what the company does is they send it here to us where we laser drill the holes. Then we send it overseas where it gets built into a product and then it comes back here to the United States. Wow. And that's what we're trying to do here at Potomac is we're trying to be competitive and bring manufacturing back here to the United States. Love it. <laughs> we talked about changing the world and, and Amir truly is changing the world. Some of the applications that he's worked on are related to um, diagnosis of concussions. So if you get hit, someone gets hit in the head, um, one of his microflake devices that the customer came to us and he successfully fabricated can be used to detect whether or not that person got a concussion. Other applications that he's worked on are related to cancer discovery, looking and separating cancer cells and treatment regimens related to that. And so um, we're very proud of um, the technology he's developed and also proud of Amir. Yes, Amir, thank you. Thank you for what you do. <laughs> so Mike, we've seen some really cool things here at Potomac Photonics. Tell me, if someone's interested in working here, what are the skill sets that you look for? The most important thing that we've found so far is somebody that's passionate. If we get someone that comes in here that's passionate, that wants to learn, we've taken people with high school degrees all the way through college and upper degrees and they've been successful working here. And here's one of our proudest examples. His name is John Ford. Hi John, and how are you? Pleasure to meet you. He graduated from DeMatha High School. He's got a high school degree. He joined us after he graduated mm -hmm. and he started as a technician and became really passionate in terms of what we do and now he's an engineer. And That's he's actually cool. running all sorts of jobs and it just shows that Really, you know, as long as a person has a desire and, and really wants to do it, that they can succeed. And he's one of our brightest examples. So Mike, that was amazing. Thanks for the tour. Now I know that, I've heard that you've taken advantage of our boost fund, and I believe it was for equipment, or? Absolutely. A lot of the equipment that you saw on the floor, we used from the, we were able to purchase with the boost fund. Okay. And the most important thing to know about that is, as you saw, that equipment is helping change the world. It's helping wow. people here, it's curing cancer, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's helping do drug discovery, it's doing a lot of great things, and we are so appreciative to Baltimore County for helping us with that. Oh, uh, and we are likewise, you know, appreciative of you being a, a recipient. So, 
We are um, we're here today. We've learned a lot about Potomac Photonics. Thank you, Mike Adelstein, for you know hosting us. And um, this is Julia Linton Brown for Next Up Baltimore County.